This is Garrett Fry, the instructor of the Color Workflow for VFX Artists. To help you in your decision to enroll in the course, I wanted to show you a quick sample of the course's hands-on exercises. So here you go. For this exercise, we're going to be looking deeper into how interframe compression works by totally destroying some video files. If I use the single frame increment here, then you can see that the type of frame is changing. A P frame, a B frame, a P frame, a B frame. As you know from the presentation, all of these frames are not full frames except the I frame. The B and P frames use a lot of that information in the iframe to construct what you see. So what would happen if we deleted the iframe completely? What would this video look like? Let's find out by deleting some of these iframes. And if we play that, we're going to see something really crazy happen here. So the iframe is missing in some areas, and you can see that it's using especially you know, in this area here, there are some leftover parts of the image that don't get wiped away because of the iframe being there. You can see there's part of this blue shipping container that's going on to this truck right here, and it only gets reset when there becomes a new iframe there. So that kind of gives you an idea of how these things are made. If you do delete the iframe, then it really messes up the progression because it does use that iframe on every single frame afterwards until it gets to a new iframe. So I'm going to let you mess around with this file. I also have another file for uh, you to take a look at and uh, that you can use for this exercise. It's just like the other one where there's two clips put together. There's a lot of camera movement, so you should get some pretty cool effects when you start deleting and adding some of these frames. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from this exercise. To gain access to all the training materials, go ahead and enroll now.